travellers, I'm Anne's daughter Lamiko. So what's in my hospital bag? This is my it luggage, so please check out the review of my this carry-on bag. I'm using a carry-on because I can't lift. I'm in so much pain <laughs> with my pneumonia. So yes, definitely bring headphones. I, I go in and out daily rather than stay overnight. I definitely take my puffy jacket. Well, it's a puffy vest from Kathmandu because the pillow is not great. And it's also nice to have something cozy that's yours. Cell phone, charger, all of your charges definitely. Also in Chinese hospitals, you do need to provide your own food and water. So it's easier for me to wheel all of that in rather than carrying it in like my backpack. Bring loo paper. Remember there's no loo paper in China so you should bring that and some tissues. I have this little zip bag for my bathroom bag because I'm getting antibiotics pumped into me and saline. It's essential to have loo paper. Those are also some wet wipes because there's no hand soap in the bathroom either which I find very strange but anyway. <laughs> So that all packs up nicely, super easy, and just take it easy on yourself because this is not a fun time. Make sure your phone or your laptop is loaded with stuff to watch because you're really just not doing a whole lot, but just chilling out while you're getting your treatment. And hopefully you can leave like I did because there's no shower and... This facilities are just a bit subpar to be overnight so I'm really glad that I despite being minorly mobile like having some difficulty walking at least I can get it also yeah as I said snacks bring snacks <laughs> so I can be back to the videos in theory. Be sure to check out my previous video of staying in a Chinese hospital. The link is in the description box below.